is going to be a how-to on how to configure Pulse CCM to work with Omega Streams or LED TV. We're going to start out with by going to System, go to TV, General tab, click Enabled. It's going to scan for PBR clients. Once it scans, click OK. It's going to go to Storm Pop Up. You want a PBR, IPTV Simple Client. This works for both uh, LED and Omega. Click Configure. You want Remote Path for M3U Playlist URL. You want to put in the link that we give you. Once that's done, click Done. Click OK. Click Enable. Now, what's going to happen, depending upon what you do, you will have to go back to system, scan, general settings, or excuse me, menu items. You're going to have to find a blank menu item if you can. In our case, menu item 7. What you're going to want to do is click the TV menu and click channels. And we're going to, let's do something a minute, see if we can go up one level. Channels. TV menu. Yeah, we'll click channels. In our case, we're going to name it Omega. You can name it Omega, name it Red, whatever you want to. Now for submenu set, we're going to go down and make sure the submenu set for TV is enabled. hidden, TV menu, TV guide, recordings, TV timer, we're just going to unhide all this and re-enable it. There. Our TV for PVR has not been started. We need to restart Cody. And in my case, Cody's went back to work stupid on his computer. I'll give it a minute to load up. Scanning the PVR, it's found 424 channels. Click Omega. Right, there's our channels. Let's try. Trois oh, joueurs de, de ces deux balles qui, euh, qui ont fait euh, le déplacement là, pour euh, venir contrer Jackson Martins. And again, guys, this works with Omega and LED TV. Just we set it up for Omega this time. That's all for now. If you have any questions, just drop us an answer in the group. We'll get back to you as soon as possible.